time for Florida Weekly with Eric Raditz. Hey, Eric, how are you doing today? Good. How are you? Doing well. Got a lot to talk about. Yeah, we'll get right into it, Eric. Uh, m many people at home might not know that manatee deaths are up so far this winter. And the reason why is actually impacting other things in our state, many aspects of our economy. If you could explain uh, what you're profiling this week. Well, it's something that we uh, looked into at Florida Weekly. Uh, and, you know, it, we're just coming off of Manatee Appreciation Day this week. But we looked into it, we found out that Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission reports a total of 539 verified manatee deaths just 78 days into this 2021. The state's already reached 85% of the 637 manatee deaths logged for the entire year of 2020. So why are they dying? Uh, well, their food source, seagrass, is not as plenty as it has been, experts say. So their deaths are actually a symptom of a much larger ecosystem problem that imperils, uh, imperils multiple facets of Florida's economy. We get deep on everything manatee this week, uh, pick it up and see also how they could be more protected. We hate to see them hurting. Uh, one thing else that you guys are talking about, businesses embracing change. I think a lot of adults have issues with embracing change, but talk about why it might be important for businesses to do so. Well, it's normal and it's human uh, to want to maintain a routine and to resist change. Many don't like it at all, but in order to make progress, we also need to be flexible, and to do that means occasionally changing our views and our work habits to create a better environment. This week, we offer tips on how to imagine and create a new future you, and you can act on it, and if you can see it, you can do it. And yeah, my mom is a neuroeducator, and she's always talking about the importance of having a growth mindset versus a fixed mindset, which is especially important during times like this when change is so needed. Uh, speaking of which, theaters have had to adjust to the pandemic in a big way, Eric. Yeah, and you know, I'll take you back to the day when, uh, I know I'm a, I'm a Cubs fan, so I'm rooting for the Cubs this opening day. I know you're Red Sox, and I appreciate Stacy is uh, for, uh, did she say the tw Twins? No. I believe Stacy is uh, anyway. an Indians fan. <laughs> Indians. So we're all excited. Uh, but, you know, when television first came on, a lot of people expected that people would stop going to sports games. And uh, we know that to be contrary. What happened is it spurred a greater interest, and then people started actually going more out. So how that relates to the arts and entertainment, DramaWorks is producing The Bell of Amherst, a one-woman play by William Lucy about the life and poetry of Emily Dickinson. And while it streams only April 2nd through 6th online, we sit down and discuss why they believe that now after the streaming shows, we may say even a greater and bigger return when the pandemic goes away. Yeah, Nate and I were actually just talking about that recently, and I was saying the same thing. I think people will be so eager to just go out and do anything once people are feeling a little bit more back to normal. And speaking of which, staying home or going out, we know it's Passover, and we have Easter coming up this weekend as well. Talk to us about what's going on in the community. Plenty, and we do have, according uh, to you too, we have the Easter uh, egg hunt. Uh, we have uh, art shows including Iconic at DOS, uh, Botticelli on Fire at Lab Theater, uh, ballet shows, jazz concerts, art shows, comedy, open mics, much more. I think you're right. We're seeing uh, people really enthusiastic about starting to get back out there. Uh, so pick us up online for a complete calendar every week. What's fresh and new with top picks uh, at floridaweekly.com on stands, on lines, and on your device. Yeah, we're inching closer to normalcy. And speaking of that, we're looking forward to eventually one day uh, having you back <laughs> yeah. in the studio in person, Eric. Thank you so much for calling in. I was just thinking about that. Thank you, guys. Have a good one.